What happens when a 100-year-old steering and suspension setup meets an 8 newton meter direct drive steering wheel? I don't know. Which is why I'm here. Beaming G 0.34 added this thing, the Brockel 9, and the devs themselves, the people who actually created it, told me that it is an absolute nightmare to drive. And today, I will unfortunately be answering the age-old question. How bad can all this really be? I can't take this anymore. So first things first, uh, we shall be turning this vehicular device on. Oh, we are on. Did you see that? When you turn the car on, the headlights dim. Let's try not to stall it. Oh, for f Oh, it's got torque. I can't believe I didn't stall it. Also, wait. This steering is already scary. Why is it going so fucking quick? I mean, it doesn't have power steering, so it makes... Oh, shit. So it makes total sense. Okay, so we are officially off. I'm gonna turn off my uh, high beams. Okay, no, not the button. We're gonna start slow, and then as time progresses, it's gonna get worse. But so far, I don't get what all the fuss is about. Okay, there is a bit of steering play. Let's, let's turn here. Let's see how it performs in an urban environment. Even these tires, they grip. They grip pretty well. I, I honestly don't get it. Why did the devs warn me? Like, this is fine. This is. I kind of want to push it now. To be fair, it has like 50 or something horsepower. Uh, so yeah, it is pretty slow. I'm good. I'm still alive. So basically, if you start oversteering, you can't counter steer. Like, it does nothing. It just spins out. I'll try again. That is terrifying. So let's see. Taking this corner with speed. Okay, okay. You can counter steer. A few moments later. Whoa! So we have crashed. And as you can see, we now have traffic. But still, traffic isn't a problem. Maybe it is. Let's overtake. Don't squeeze me out of my fucking lane, you idiot. I'm not really concerned about traffic. What I am concerned about is the next car we'll be using. That was clearly an attempted murder. I am not a CEO, come on. To be fair though, it seems fine. And for that reason, that is my crash. But as I was saying, I haven't really driven this car. This is actually my first time driving it with a wheel. During the update videos, I mostly drive in a straight line on grid map with the controller. I don't really get a feel for it. But yet, to be honest, this four-cylinder one, apart from the... Apart from... Well, sh this is the V8 version, the exact one that was shaking itself apart in my update video. And I am not ready. One like equals one prayer. Already you can feel the extra grunt from the engine, the motor, but how is it in the corners? Can you feel the extra weight? Oh, the, the rear tires are dying. Oh, the steering is horrible. Look at that, look at that. You turn the wheel and it goes straight. Now I think this has 80 horsepower. It's like... Yeah, the most noticeable thing is the steering plane. This is actually terrifying. And the faster you go, the worse it is. Overtake on the inside, look at that. Gapped in a historically accurate way. Which has me thinking, what if we race these? Definitely leave a like if you'd want to see me and the idiots race these. Yeah, this is scarily quick. Oh, you tap the brakes and it kicks the tail out, like, instantly. Look at that. They call me Domenico Toretto. Yeah, this is truly an abomination. Yeah, it's hard to counter steer when like 20% of your wheel input does nothing. Shit. It's not doing the shaking though for some reason. I wonder, oh, it's overheating like crazy. Oh my God. No! Oh. 12 seconds later. Ladies and gentlemen, help. So this is the top speed version. So while the first car had 47 horsepower and the one we just used had 79, this one has 222. It's weird. It's oddly slow, 
Oh no, wait, I wasn't rubbing it out properly. But in the corners, it's not too bad. As soon as I say it, every time. How's off roading on this? I wonder if we can start to feel the suspension for what it... I oh, it bounces all over the place. This is undrivable. What the f***? But it just cannot cope with the bumps. It, ju it just springs off. It just hops everywhere. Where is it? A, a covet here. A wild covet. And a wild pigeon. We're stuck in traffic on the fucking Himalayas. To be fair though, even though it has bicycle tires, how is it climbing so easily? This is a steep incline, I'm, I'm surprised. And it also has an open differential. The real question is, can it get down the hill though? I'm gonna remove it from gear. I'm just gonna let it coast down. This thing doesn't even have seat belts, mind you. Don't hit a tree. Luckily though, they don't make them like they used to. I do have to say the sound design of the whole like frame shaking Amazing job, devs. Back on the tarmac. Let's see what this thing is really made of. It just slides everywhere. My goodness. Gentlemen, we have 1200 horsepower. Look, even the wires are scared. So to install this engine, I unfortunately had to convert the chassis. So the suspension setup is slightly better. But with, I repeat, 1,200 horsepower, I wonder if that even matters. So let's go. So the steering, it's the... The steering still for you. This is gonna be nasty. I want to get to the highway to see the top speed, but this is horrible. The custom chassis and suspension have done nothing. It still feels, it feels even worse to be on. To be honest. Yeah, look at that. How is this the upgraded chassis? Even the slightest throttle input has it completely sideways. All right, I'm gonna stomp it. Did my engine just explode? That was a minor inconvenience. Uh, we are back. Nice. Stomping it in three, two, one. Shit. There was no pigeon there, I swear. Though, in hindsight, this isn't too bad. Okay, I, I mean, it is, but I was expecting to die today, which is still not happened. It does kind of have a mind of its own, like, uh. you don't... Man, these bounces. All right, gents, we are on the highway. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Right, we're back on. Look at the steering. This is crazy. Shit, shit, shit. Ah. All right, here we go. It's wheel spinning. It's wheel spinning. There's a pigeon. That is, that is honestly great. Come on, come on, come on. Witness. Why do cars keep spawning in front of my? Not too bad at high speed, to be, to be honest. Oh no, I'm about to become Carmite. 